Hello, Twixers! So, this is going to be your tutorial on how to download and utilize Better TTV so that you can be kept up to date with the Twitch culture of emotes and how to add emotes to this because our emotes are locked, unlike what they were on Mixer, where we could upload as many as we wanted if we hit certain sub goals. This is also available to people who aren't partnered or even non affiliated, so there's nothing wrong with that too, which is really, really cool. And everybody can use this, which is nice so that we can all use these emotes together. Plus, a lot of the regular ones that are used by everybody, like you know, feels bad man and monka s and things are on this and almost everybody has this downloaded so you're gonna want to have this and need this if you want to keep up to date with twitch culture so the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to betterttv.com which i will also have linked in the description down below and you need to download it for chrome as an extension easy or you know whatever browser it is that you're using once you've downloaded that you'll see that up here it's been added to your browser on better ttv and you can start utilizing it. Once that's been downloaded, if you go to your Twitch, you'll now see that there's this little happy face. Oh, let me hide my camera real fast so you guys can actually see it. Now you'll see that there is a little happy face here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen that was not there prior in your Twitch chat now that you've gotten BTTV downloaded. What you're gonna need to do next is go into your chat settings and now you used to only have these three things, you'll see that there's an entire section for Better TTV and you are going to want to modify Better TTV by clicking on the settings option at the very bottom. Once you've done that, you are going to need to turn on several things here in the Better TTV stiff. So obviously you can go through and turn on whatever it is you want in here, but these are the things you're going to need, especially if you want it to, to feel more comfortable using Twitch and supporting everybody on here. You want to go to Better TTV emotes, which you definitely need for using these emotes in the first place, and make sure that this is turned on. It might be in the off position in order to use it, you just need to turn it on and it will work from there by sliding over. Same with the Better TTV GIF emotes. If we want to continue to use Blob Dance, if we want to continue to use Party Parrot, if we want to continue to use Ditto, we're going to need to have this turned on so that we can not only use emotes, but use GIFs in chat as well. I also have clicking the stream for uh, playing plus uh, slash pausing enabled because I like how it was on Mixer where if we clicked on a stream it would pause it and if we unclicked it it would unpause it. Whereas if you don't have this one enabled you have to go down here to the bar at the bottom and click play and pause. I prefer that because I liked that feature when it was on Mixer. Additionally, um, I have the completion tooltip here so that it will auto complete um, potential emotes that it might want us to use, which is something that also was a thing on Mixer, so I liked having that turned on and I want that to be a thing as well. Uh, I want to turn on dark theme because if you use light theme, you're a psychopath. Down here uh, is emote menu. It's going to give you a more advanced emote menu for Twitch, which you are definitely going to want to turn on because that is going to be a menu option that shows you all of the different emotes that you're going to be using now that you have this emote extension enabled. And you absolutely need to turn on Frank or Face Z emotes because with this, you can use all of the same emotes that Frank or Face Z has, which is the other second most downloaded emote extension for Twitch, but you don't actually have to have it downloaded. You can just have BTTV and now you have all the emotes from Faker Face Z and all the emotes from BTTV already done and that's one less program you need to have on your computer and one less extension you need to have downloaded. So make sure that that's enabled as well. Additionally, you want to have the host button turned on. You know how there is not a host button? on people's channels and you have to go to your chat, click forward slash host and then at the person and then it hosts them and then you go back into their chat and now you posted them and it's super annoying and inconvenient. We're on Mixer. We had a host button directly on the page. Here's your solution. If you have this clicked and turned on, now when you go to somebody's page, you can click host straight from their page and instead of this saying check out Sam Woodhall, it would say host channel, which I'll show you guys what that looks like too. And it works really, really nice. That way we can continue to host our favorite people, continue to support each other, and continue that just second nature host as soon as you get into a stream that, you know, uh, action that we are just so used to as, as Mixer streamers. That is basically the last one that you need to have uh, turned on as a necessity, and if you want to turn on any others, you can. Let me show you an example of what that host one looks like. So let's say I wanted to go to Psycho, and I wanted to uh, host Psycho instead. You see here that this now says host channel, 
And if I were to click this, it would force that forward slash command and uh, have it host here in chat and it would say forward slash whatever. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to uh, host them anyway so I can show you. Uh, you now see here that it says we sent a forward slash host to your channel and uh, made it so that happened. I'm actually going to go back to um, Sam and host him again because... Uh, you know, Psycho's on to be right back screen, and I want to continue to support Sam and all of the good work he is doing for all of us Twixers. <laughs> His title is even Twixer Safe House, and he's making pins for us right now with the Twixer emote that he also made for us for free. Sam is such a wonderful, wonderful soul, and his entire content clinic team has done nothing but welcome us to Twitch with open arms, so shout out to Sam. If you guys are not following him, Please do. He's such a kind-hearted person, and he's giving his time and talent and knowledge with graphic editing and design to all of us for free. That's who made my um, pop-up alert as well, and he released all of that for free for all of us to use, which I have a video on that if you guys haven't watched that already, and you want this to show up on all of your Mixer streams as well. Uh, you can, and you can uh, get it on your Mixer streams while you're still transitioning over. That said, Going back to showing you guys the BTTV emotes, if you click on that happy face that's now next to the cogwheel in chat, which, let me hide myself so I can show you guys again. So if you click on this happy face down here that was next to the cogwheel, it opens up this menu, and this is the BTTV menu. So you'll see that Ashen has chosen to have these emotes be uploaded because, again, if you're not an affiliate, you can't have emotes for your channel. But with BTTV downloaded, you can, and he's had these put on. Um, another one is all of these emotes that Sam has chosen to have on his channel, including the Twixer Love. All the global emotes that we can use at any time, so this is regardless of it being channel specific. Uh, Franker face Z emotes that are regardless of being channel specific as well and then the global twitch emotes that exist too that you can continue to use So there's a lot of different ones and it'll show you all of the Emotes that you have from all the different channels including the ones that they have already uploaded to theirs It's really helpful and quite cool. So you will not see these for example. These ones are specifically for the ones that um Sam has right now if you don't have BTTV enabled. But because we do, I can click on Twixer Love, for example, and if I pop it in chat, boom! You can see that the Twixer Love emote has enabled. It says Twixer Love channel Sam Woodhall, because he's the one that had it uploaded. And then the Better TTV channel emotes is what shows there. And I could do that for any of these. If I wanted to blob dance and blob dance and just rave in his chat, let me turn him on so I can actually uh, hear him. There we go, we're now blob dancing in chat. Over and over and over again. Now that you guys know how to use the gifts and emotes in chat, you might be wondering, well, okay, that's cool that they have them there, but how do I add them to my own? And that's what we're gonna do next. So, the next thing you do is you're gonna go back to your TTV, BTTV page, and you're gonna go to emotes. There's gonna be four different categories here on the left Sam side. The top emotes are the ones that are used the most often, like the ditto and blob dance and whatnot, because if you go and try to use all of these on your own, it doesn't auto-populate every single one. You can only have up to a maximum of 15 emotes that you use as the shared emotes on your page if you are using the free version of BTTV. If you want to pay for the pro version, which is $5 a month, you can, and then you can use up to 50 emotes, but you don't have to. Uh, the free one gives you 15, so it's perfectly fine to use uh, and by itself. So just go through, and if you want to use any of these really popular ones, like Rainbow Pulls, Dance, Blob Dance, whatever, uh, Poggers, you can. Trending emotes are going to show you uh, similar things, ones that are trending that most people are using. Now, the shared emotes is really really cool which i love oh my gosh there's orange croc did a twixer emote oh my gosh i love these okay shout out to orange croc for doing that i'm definitely going to add that over there and also the other one <laughs> holy shit oh orange croc shout out to you for being awesome and making those available so when you guys post emotes to better ttv because you can upload as many as you want to anybody can use them which is awesome because now we can have that on our channel so if i wanted to um on my channel if we go back to mine specifically then if i go back over to my chat now and i click on it uh you can see that the ones that i have here are so far our ditto blob dance and now we have uh twixer as well which if i click on both of those and hit enter uh, you guys can see that it says Twixer is the transition. That's so cool. Anywho, uh, you would go here and if there's a specific one you want to search, which I recommend all of you guys add uh, Twixer to 
yours because this Twixer Love emote was sent to us and made for us by Sam. Uh, and he was kind enough to do it, and this has been like the uh, image and face of the uh, Twixer transition movement, which is super cool. So uh, I recommend using this on your channel too because it gives everybody a heart and a love for all of us to uh, be able to use to represent ourselves with our transition over. Additionally, these are the global emotes that anybody can use if they have it downloaded, which we saw before when I showed you guys. So you're going to want to go through, pick however many you want to to get up to uh, whatever it is, like if you were like, oh man, I really want to want to dance one. Well, then you can go through and you can look on how many of these you want to have in yours and, you know, recommend it if you really, really, really want this, uh, you know, nice little blobfish butt dance, which to be honest, this looks kind of cute and I like the little blobfish butt. Uh, you can go ahead and do so and add it to your channel and then boom, if you go to your dashboard, by clicking here, you'll see that I have 12 selected now, and these are what the people who are on my channel when they're watching my live streams will be able to utilize. Now, if you wanted to upgrade to Pro, this is where you would do so, but you don't have to. Um, the, your channel emotes are um, ones that you can upload, so if you really wanted to add your own, you can. So this is where if you guys were partners or um, on Twitch and you were able to have your own emotes, even if you're not affiliated, this is where you would upload them so that you can continue to use your emotes. So like, for example, if I uh, wanted to continue to use Lekka Smug, I would type in the name and I would go here. I would click on the 112 by 112 because the emotes all need to be uploaded as 112 by 112. And then boom, now I have that. And I would enter in the emote code of Lekka Smug. Uh, approval notes, this is an emote from blank of blank, they gave me permission to use it here, that's if you were like outsourcing it because it's one that you don't own the rights to. Contact email, um, enable sharing allows other users to add this emote to their Twitch chat. If I wanted other people to be able to use it, I want that to be specific to my channel and special to my channel only for people who are using it in my chat, so I'm not going to do that, but if you wanted to share whatever emotes you want to with the world, like how Orange Croc made that Twixer emote, which is super sweet, then you can. And then you're gonna say, I agree to the emote guidelines, click upload uh, this one. Uh, this is a channel emote of mine. Uh, you would hit upload emote and then it says, boop, auto approved. There we go. So now if we go back to the dashboard, we can see that there's like a smug. And if I turn my camera off again, Boop. If I then go into my chat, open it up here, I will be able to scroll and find it. So now, since we uploaded that emote, I can show you guys so you can see that now amongst all of the other shared emotes we have, our specific channel emote for Lekka Smug is here. And if we use it in chat, boom! Now it shows up and everybody can use the Lekka Smug emote. You can do this for up to 15 of your emotes. You might not be able to use all of them. Like for me, I had 500 subs on Mixer, so I had 18 emotes and I'm not gonna be able to use all of them, but that's okay, I'll choose the uh, 15 best than I want and that was used most frequently and we can still have our communities use those instead um, Additionally, it's like a smug emote did not show up immediately for me after I uploaded it I had to refresh and I had to wait a couple minutes, which is why there was that cut in the video So if you if you're uploading it and it's not there immediately, don't worry about it. It's fine uh, It will show up after a little bit and after it refreshes and so that people specifically on your channel can utilize that since it's still unique to you Now that said you've been able to upload your channel emotes You can upload as many of these as you want to by clicking upload emote over here if you want to do more um, And you've picked your favorite shared global emotes and gifts and such as well uh, so that's, uh, uh, there's only one other thing that I want to show you guys, which you can have editors for your channel. So for example, if you want other people to be able to add and edit your emotes or be able to do stuff for you, for example, Kareem wanted me to help him with his so that I could upload the, uh, Twixer love and Twixer, uh, emotes, then you can. So if I wanted, for example, um, um, uh, monkey boy, uh, CJ, his was with two Y's. Um, to do it because he's one of my uh, channel editors and moderators then I can do that and boom he'd be able to it doesn't look like he has uh, connected his to better TTV yet but if he did then I'd be able to add him um, for they have to have a better TTV 
downloaded extension for you to be able to add them, so that's a bad example, but let's say I wanted uh, Kareem to be uh, mine as well so that he could edit things for me. Boom, now he's an editor and he can edit my stuff. What does that mean? That means for anybody you want to have help you with your BTTV emotes or for uploading or uh, doing different things, uh, now that they're an editor, they can go to their page up here in the top right and instead of it just being on theirs, I could go over to Kareem's for example, and these are all of the shared emotes that he's uploaded to his channel. So he's picked the 15 out of 15 that he wants, the Twixer love and all of these other things. And if he was like, hey, I just don't have time for it. Would you mind uploading all of my emotes for me to my channel? I'd be like, yeah, dude, I got you. And if I had his assets, boom, I could upload all of these to his channel and do those for him. And that's how, if you are made an editor of someone's channel, you just toggle between the two at the top, very easy. You can do it for whoever makes you a channel editor. And uh, for you, um, you can go through and add anybody who you want and trust to have be yours as well. Uh, if you want to sync it to your Discord channel so that uh, people can start using your BTTV emotes in your Discord server, you can. This part's really cool as well, because it means that all of those emotes will then just be transferred over to your link to Discord server so everyone can use them too without you having to individually upload all of them to your Discord, so that's pretty freaking neat. And I really am just not gonna mess with the bot because I really don't need to. Um, and you guys don't really need to either, if you want to, you can. But that's the rundown of BTTV, and that's exactly why you need it. It not only does the emotes, but it has the host button that we're also used to as Twixers uh, from streaming on Mixer, and it has a lot of other really cool features as well. Make sure you guys use it so you can get around that uh, struggle of not being affiliate for emotes and or partner, so you can still have Discorded, uh, uh, Discorded, so you can still have some uh, emote fun with everybody. But remember that for these, they're only going to show up in your channel. And if you go to somebody else's channel, like Sam Woodhall, if you click on the same extension, it's going to show what he has for his because yours only show up on your stream regardless if they were shared or channel emotes. That said, that's your tutorial for BTTV for all of us Twixers transitioning over. I hope that was really helpful, guys. Remember to like the video and share this with other uh, Twixers who are transitioning over if it was. And please sub if you haven't already because I'm going to have a lot of other tutorials and videos coming out as well while we're transitioning and doing stuff. And I'm very tired, but I'm trying to get all of this out as, as fast as possible because I know that we're all scrambling and feeling overwhelmed. And if I can help in any of that, it's worth losing sleep over, so... I appreciate you guys. We're going to do great. And without taking up any more y'all's time, I will go ahead and let you beautiful people go. Bye, my lovelies.